mine in Ilfracombe. <laughs> Today is a nice slow day where we're going to go to National Trust properties and we're going to wander around. We did have a big day set but the weather's not great so we're going to wait for Thursday. What's, what are we doing today? Uh, the name of it, yeah. Arlington Court. So we'll get some pretty content of Arlington Court. And the National Trust Carriage Museum. And we'll see about <laughs> that. <laughs> I believe Arlington Court was owned by a lady who didn't have children, so she passed it on to the National Trust and they had to tidy out. I think she was a bit of a hoarder. So she had all of these amazing, she had these huge shells and all of this stuff that she'd collected and they went through it all and tidied it up and basically made it more of a home vibe. I was just saying to Ollie that Guys. we'll get a house like this one day and then this will be our stairway when we're tired of going up to bed. <clears throat> oh, chai steam is really good. Is it? We just were at Arlington Court. Now we're at Court. now we're at um, Waters Meet, and you can guess what happens here. Watersmeet. Something I found really interesting about Watersmeet is that there have been people living there since before 2,300 years ago. During the Iron Ages, it would have been thatched roundhouses. Moving on to Lynmouth and Linton, I think that became a popular holiday destination more around the Victorian times, sort of early early 1900s. Sadly, in 1952, Lynmouth had a really awful flood and it killed 34 people and it ripped the front of houses off um, it's from heavy rainfall. I don't think they've had anything quite as bad since, luckily. So this was Lynmouth in some gift shops. I got the Tea Makes Everything Better mug. It was a Sasson Bell mug, so it wasn't like a handmade local item but I really loved all the shops I loved this handmade pottery in a different shop I really wanted it um, but I made sure to sort of take videos and of everyone's names and saw the bottom of things with the tags on 
not only to credit the people that made it so that I can find it online at a later date. Um, so after we had a little mooch around the shops in Lynmouth, we didn't go up to Linton sadly. Um, I didn't even know it was up there because it wasn't very obvious to me. And it was news to me when I got home and my nan said, did you go up to Linton? I was like, I thought it was in Linton. Um, so we sat on the beach, I had rum and raisin ice cream. It was really punchy, very delicious, had a smoothie. Enjoyed the view and um, just took in the drama of it all. And after that, we sort of took a trip again into some of the other shops. This was some artwork, all hand painted by the man that works in there. And my boyfriend got quite a few little postcards and things. And then we made our way home after that, I believe. Finally, a National Trust member. She said that Ollie was the only person to have a young, a young person's membership in that National Trust like all year. <laughs> or was it all month? It's her first one. Her first one. For a month. long time. For a long time. We went to the gift shop. So cute. And then it has words on the front, I think. Tea makes everything better. It does. I actually got one right now. Join dinner. Are you ready? Ready. And that one. And he hand paints them and then turns them into cards, I think. And that one. Nice. And that one. Nice. And that one. Nice. I love the mushrooms. <laughs> I am making dinner and I feel like an absolute pro because I've just created like mango puree without a blender. So it was really ripe and I needed it in like sauce consistency. So what I did was I like squeezed as much juice out as possible from, so I sort of like took the skin off and squeezed as much juice as possible, cut a little bit of it up, put it in a sieve and then like pureed it through the sieve. Um, and actually it's gonna go with coconut milk to make mango chicken, one of the best meals ever you'll be so proud of yourself if you make it i'll show you when it's ready i hope you found this video relaxing we had our dinner and we just went to bed and the next day we had a really lovely day a bit busier than this one and we saw a lot more so if you're interested have a look on our playlist of devon trips